another episode. <laughs> Welcome back to our channel. <laughs> <laughs> well, who's praying today? Ooh, somebody else. Somebody else want to pray? Anybody, any prayer volunteers? Bishop Tia? David? I'll pray. Okay. Father God, bless this food for the nourishment of our bodies. Thank the Thank the hands that prepared this. We appreciate everything that you're doing for us, and we appreciate the fellowship. Thank God. Amen. 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 We appreciate the, you, Lord. Yeah. We appreciate you, Lord. For the Lord. people who made this. You know and, and the hands that prepared this sandwich. Yes. Of our well, bodies. Y'all can go ahead and start Purify. diving in. Purify. I may or may not have already taken a bite of my sandwich. No, and you definitely. Started. Actually, I am hungry today, so try me not. Okay? We're going to get into the comments. Our first comment is from Michaela Johnson. That's your cousin, Mom. <laughs> Michaela says, y'all should do a video telling a bunch of funny childhood stories. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Phones, phones. Oh, oh, phones. Oh, oh, we forgot. And today, we are having picnic. We're doing subs for dinner. Is that the reason why we got this menus? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> top up here? I wanted to look like a picnic, so I put these... Um, they just vinyl table What calls. in the wind did she? about mama, she gone. <laughs> a theme. She got to have a theme. The mama, 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 we may or may not be telling a bunch of funny childhood stories, but thank you for your comment. Sophie Nick. Wait a minute, you said, let's talk about something besides childhood? No, 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 she said y'all should do a video telling a bunch of funny childhood stories. Oh, okay, okay, I missed it. Um, Sophie Nick says, one thing I love about the man family is the love you all have for each other and the support. The way David uplifts his sisters is beautiful to see. Y'all always manage to make me laugh which is hard, regardless of how different you all are, your parents managed to shine through each and every one of you. Shout out to the parentals for shining mm -hmm. through each and mm -hmm. every one of you. Y'all look just like your mama. Last comment is from <laughs> Shawnee Love. Hey, y'all look like your parents. <laughs> Shawnee says, hey y'all, I really enjoyed this. I think the public sometimes have unrealistic views of Christian celebrity families. I thank y'all for giving us a little more insight. Blessings to y'all. Wow. Thank you, Shawnee. Shawnee. That's Thank the plan, you. to let y'all in on our lives a little bit. Mm -hmm. So today's episode... It's real out in these streets. It mm -hmm. is very real. We are going to be talking... We're going to dip into a little bit of fears, overcoming those fears, holding grudges. We're going to talk about bucket lists. Oh. And all that. I really never thought about a bucket list. Mm -hmm. I haven't, I don't have a bucket list. I mean, I probably do and just don't know what it is. Well, I'm sure some things that you want to do that you haven't done. Yeah. I definitely, I want to. If the kids do this, what you want to do before you die. <laughs> that's right. What, right. That's what the bucket yeah. list is. Yep. It, yeah, Your like you say, list. you want to do something on the bucket list before it's you. It's stuff that you haven't done. Kick the bucket. I want to go to Africa. Okay. okay. All right, sister, mother, man. I really do want to uh -huh. go. Why you want to go to Africa? <laughs> Because I want to see my people. Look at her yeah. earrings. It's clear. Yeah. It's clear. It's my I really do. I do. <laughs> you never know. I, want like, to I, I always hear people saying when they go to Africa, they like connect with a part of themselves. Uh -huh. that they've been like, yes. It's a different Have levels. you thought about like, like regionally or a specific country that not. you want to? She wants to go to Nigeria. Mm -hmm. I want my, I want a part of my book list. I want to go to Australia. Ah, you want to go to the outback. Yeah. <laughs> So I can take it to the sound like Africa. Yeah. No, no, no. I didn't. I didn't change because I'm not going nowhere but Africa. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to go to Australia? No, not that's what the, uh, that's what a white man got it's killed by the animal. Uh, no, it's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Australia is awesome. You went? Yeah. I yeah. went to Perth, Melbourne, Sydney. She uh, travels. Oh, mm -hmm. shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's been around. Uh, Brisbane. Mm -hmm. Brisbane. Okay. Yeah. Well, I ain't never been none, none of those. Um, I'm scared because I have real big animals. It's going to be something. like real like That's corny and goofy, but I'm living my bucket list every day. Oh, oh man. Oh. <laughs> living yeah. my bucket list every day. Living my bucket list every day. <laughs> like just to have a family, a functioning family. That's just every day. That's my right. bucket list. But what's something that you want to do? Like personally. I'm never thinking about me. Oh. Well, you did, but thing. you did one of them. He did one of them. We did the safari. 
That's true. I did go to Africa. And I felt in touch with myself and the motherland. Mm -hmm. the mother and then the lion scared us. Yeah. <laughs> definitely. So with, you know what? I definitely that is was true. scared with Thank the lion. Definitely yeah, so scared. we did. I always wanted to go on a safari to Africa. Because, you know, as, even as a kid, you watch it on. Yeah. Uh, we used to watch Mutual of Omaha back in the day. The people over 50 will know what that is. Mm -hmm. And just ride on the back of the truck and see the animals and just be out in the wild and just be a little afraid. So you basically watch National Geographic from your room. Right. Right. That was dope. And it I, is I, was I think I, I, at first I didn't want to go to Africa because I was scared that I had to get them shots and all that other stuff. Now I'm grown. I go. I used to want to do jump out of plane, but the older I get, I don't want to jump out of plane no more. I still want to skydive. Me I too. Yeah. I gotta ease into the thing like go parasailing first. Uh, just take just me. Just me. No, I've been parasailing millions of times. I don't want to. I don't want to do nothing high no more. Why? I feel like. I'm valuing life different now. Because like I, I don't know. That's true. I let these two nuts one time talk these me into. These nuts. Yes. <laughs> I let them talk me into. What was that thing? It was the bungee, bungee jump. jump. We bungee jump. We jumped. was at a so, slitter the bar. Yeah. So I was like, okay, well, cool. Y'all talk me into it. Mind you, he's 49. Somewhere in there. Yeah. Too old to be doing it. And I let them talk me up. That's and then good. I got up and it started going higher. And I thought about it. I Did said, "Did your testicles get into your stomach?" No, That's they were you, right here oh. in, your, in your throat. <laughs> and I said, "How did I let them talk me? What did I let y'all talk me into? We could die." Yeah. Well, it I didn't. Want, I said no to that. Yeah, my but mom. I want to go skiing. Mm. I haven't did a ski trip or a ski vacation. I want to do that. A cold vacation. Cold vacation. But you and I also want to go to some why? other why places. Uh, and, and, and even seeing for his concerts, I haven't really ventured out like what's far. The, what's the, uh, <laughs> what happened? What? There were the Tarzan is wrong too. Much wrong. Well, I, I, I said, let me I know just how go, how go, go to the North Pole. Go to the North Pole. I mean, yeah, but. <laughs> 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 Uh, I'm tired of waking up and it's 70 degrees. Yeah, we just had a winter storm. No, uh, don't you wait for, no more snow. That was not around Christmas, though. So, Lord, this time, just kind of ease the timeline back. Just make oh, it happen around geez. December. <laughs> without people losing their power. Or, yeah, uh, uh, the right. We need the grids to be up and working properly. Right. But Mama wanted to also snowboard. That seems fun. I'm sure that would be Yeah, that seems fun. The reason why I say snowboard. No, I'm, 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 no snowboarding. I'm already sitting down. I'm already on the ground. I'm a no snowboarding no, no, stand no, up. Stand. Mm -mm. I'm one of the kind where you kneel down or sit down on it and you just slide. Like sledding. You want to go sledding. Well, no, whatever mama, you call it. I got one better for you. Look, check this out. Listen to your son. This is what we're going to do. Instead of doing all of that, what we need to do is we need to go snowmobiling. You know no, I'm going to do that. See, that's, See, man, that's hard. You know what I'm saying? I that's hard. No, we're not on no frozen water. Yeah, I'm good. You said that or like mm. mountains, like yes, yes. Uh -uh. I wanna what do, do the, want but to I do? just wanna do what's in the safety. You know how they my, had the things that you sit on and you slide. My, bu my bucket list. I wanna sign a deed for apartment complex. Mm -hmm. Real tall. Now, mm -hmm. now, that's good. Mm -hmm. yeah, I just, I'm just, mm -hmm. That's good. That's investing. I wanna investment. change the game. That's that's kind of what. Oh, so yeah, we'll have, have something. A whole block. That's good. Uh, yeah. All right. But, I what, feel what's go been for keeping it. you from it? Um, you know, I just I, the way my bank account set up right now. <laughs> <laughs> my, my zeros is not adding up. With. My, uh, you got a check account. You got, yeah. got a savings account. <laughs> I got some music. But is that a part of fear too? It's not fear. It's like my credit score and <laughs> like, you got a good credit score. My credit score is decent, but it's not like. To get let me get like, let me hold like three mil. It's not like that yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, good, I'm, good, I'm good for it. I'm, I'm good for it. I'm a hundred thousand, two hundred. But I think, I, I think everybody should always do some type of list or have some kind of goal list of things that you want to do. You, yeah. And because it actually really gives you something to look Goals. forward to and, and to so work like, toward like six months like short term and long term i would say that's you could do all of them because you know that's where it is with me with this weight thing my goal is to be 200 pounds that is like one of my bucket lists like lord i gotta overcome this you weight understand this weight me. demon see like for me i've been waiting to lose weight mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You ought to stand up and show them your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I just knew you was going to do something now, like that. Now, if she knew, you going to be like, edit that out. My uh, mom. Mr. Steele, you your mean? grandpa, why you got your shirt all open? Like you? <laughs> 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 about you should show, show them your outfit. She got a cat suit. Okay, so she yeah. got this little cat suit on. Mama what got a cat suit on. Portia got a cat suit on. Yeah. Kevin told They still. The <laughs> <laughs> Portia's look like it got, it got feet in it. Like. <laughs> Stop it, y'all. Look at it, my coochie. I'm going to talk about your mama. I'm going to talk about your cat, bro. Oh, I'm going to talk about your cat. I'm not looking at it. Why everybody want that monkey? This went south real bad. Oh, he need the leg part. I'm talking about the foot. Oh, yeah, foot. Oh, I didn't see what your mind is. Well, like my what else are we supposed to be talking about? Oh, we're talking about fears. Like, yeah, what is a fear? Oh, it can be as small as spiders or like my fear is well, we know alone. what that is. My fear is rats. being alone. Mine's just snakes. Talk about where your fear came of rats came from though. That's what I never knew. So <laughs> and I you never knew you grew up That's just a fear that y'all know about. We all grew up with rats yeah. around. No, you say we all. <laughs> I did <laughs> say what is my everybody <laughs> Y'all had rats and y'all have. <laughs> no, but we all I mean living in the country. I lived in the country. I then I said him. And mm. then I said we. No, you're trying she, to come from my family. No, because no, because no, we did have them. On, on Woodland, we all we had, had rats. We yeah. had rats, y'all. We I mean, had the BB. Yeah, those we, y'all. We thought. Stop. I think we talked about this once. Okay, we lived in the house that had like a field surrounding the whole house. house. Yes. So yes. it was these sweet potatoes in the pantry. <laughs> And I don't know why in the world somebody would go in the pantry and buy the sweet potatoes. Yeah, he, I he went, was fussing at us, too. I'm mm-hmm. trying to figure out. I'm trying to find something. The, the rat's testicles was about this big. <laughs> he had nuts. I went in and went off on all of them. Why y'all going to bite a potato and do it? So we went back. I'm looking at one. I'm looking at them like, which one of y'all niggas bought why would you a, bite a, bite a sweet potato? potato. <laughs> Cause so I know it wasn't me. <laughs> we leave. I throw the sweet potato paper, sweet potato away. We leave and come back, and ain't nobody there. And the sweet potato a bit Not, again. Another one. I was like, oh my god. Oh, to find it. I did like that. It's a rat. It's a rat. <laughs> so I go to the feed store where you get the good stuff. If you ever want to buy the good. Rat killing stuff, go to the feed store. Went to the feed store, bought all of this stuff, and I was, uh, as I was about to leave, I asked the lady, I said, so, you know, you can do all of this, you can burn this up? That's when you say check with an associate before you leave the yeah. store. Right, because I was about to burn our house down. She said, well, sir, you can't put this in your attic, you're gonna burn your house down. <laughs> <laughs> so, we get there, I got some little rat traps, and I put them in, because it's like, I don't know how they were getting in the house, and when I did it, Ah, the rat trap. Got him. I got him. He come running there, up the hall. Running through the hall. No rat on the trap. I was like, oh my but God. But the mm. trap was in the middle of the kitchen the floor. floor. So he got the cheese like this, snapped the trap. <laughs> and <laughs> <laughs> so I did a nose. <laughs> and it broke his legs. And I was so scared. I don't care who knows I was scared. I got on two chairs with a BB gun and slid across the he floor. He took my home. BB gun. And he got my boo in the middle, on, on the chair, sliding. On two chairs, sliding, sliding. like I'm skating. And busted, bah! And it <laughs> went through, I pumped it so hard it went through. So we, I'm thinking I didn't shoot him, but I was shooting him and it was going through. Cause he had But he was still some... moving. Now, this was, a, this was a bad daddy move, but it was one under the refrigerator. Oh, yeah. Because of this is a fear of him. And he gonna call me in no, there. No, I got a portion. I remember I got a plastic bag. But, I just remember. No, he called me first. I said, no, I, I'm not doing I, I, it. I had portion to get that from her. She did, she, but I, I, I said, no. I feel like the it tail was, thick, was like bro. a rope. It yeah. was a big, I know that rat was like this big. Yeah. I, he was big. I was like. And that's what you call a rat. Oh, it could be this small. Oh, Daddy called that a rat. That's not a rat. That's a mice. That's a rat. Anything this big that's moving. That is not. A rat is so, big like this. Tia got a like jerk. I told y'all, y'all cannot be, bro. I don't care what nobody say. You cannot be scary in front of your daughters like he was. I'm, Tia had a, I had a, a, a jerk. No, uh, I had a hamster. Mm-hmm. 
And then we had babies. I went babies. to my cousin's house, came back, I had, she had like six babies. <laughs> he was like, you better get this thing out of here. So out of the house. I got a, a new something, which was a hamster. No, a guinea, guinea pig. pig, a guinea pig. Mm-hmm. And he got out the cage and he was and like. I said, if he come down these stairs, he's dead. Yeah. I was uh-huh. like, don't all shoot my. Kid, all the babies. Drown no, the babies. Well, well you know, <laughs> like at the, the pet's place, they can't sell like females. females. So I don't know how in the world I got a female. They need some on the inventory. Right. <laughs> Somebody. <laughs> they didn't know. <laughs> but you know, what? another one well, of my fears. Up too. Another one of my fears, and I'm sure this would be a lot of other people's fears. One of my biggest fears is failure, just not succeeding and stuff. Yeah, it's, a lot, it's, it's just not not succeeding at something. I mean, whatever I do, I want to be the best. I want to put, give it the spirit of excellence. And so that's a big fear is just like not being successful at all that I do. Well, I think I've accomplished that. So I, I mean, I failed at a few things. So I, mean, I think I <laughs> so kind of locked that up before I'm fine now. Yeah, yeah I'm but good. you know I, that happens a lot. I think is oh sorry to cut you off. No. As a kid, as a kid. In school, I think I didn't advance more further because I was afraid to ask questions. I was afraid to raise my hand and afraid to be wrong, so I just was like in this shell, which I'm saying this to any youngster or a kid out there to not or be adult. afraid, or adult, not to be afraid to ask questions. It's okay if you don't know whatever it is. It's okay. And I'm, and I'm still learning that to this day, and that's like been a fear of mine to be wrong or just because I don't know. And right. you know, by me not being able, and I'm not having a big vocabulary, I feel like I don't fit in mm-hmm. and I don't, I'm not uh, capable or adequate enough to, to make it come to pass. And like even, even to this day, y'all, <coughs> to let y'all know, when we do reads in front of people, even like with being on television, it doesn't matter. I'm like, I'm in a sweat, I'm in a panic on the inside, I'm like, I'm like shaking in my boots because I'm really afraid to like do a read in front of everybody. So right. it's like I want my so stuff early so I can, you know, set myself up and kind of get in mind so, yeah. so I won't fumble. So you kind of understood what Fantasia was going through when she came out. And oh, I'm exactly. Because issues. yes, yes. Because reading is one of my issues. Right. And, and to this day, and that's why I'm saying something about it to help others just like Fantasia did, that that's something that I'm still working on to this day because I really do want to be better. Like you were saying, you know, when we were taping uh, yesterday, that I just really, I'm striving to be better even at 50 than I was at 20. Right. Because then I was really still trying to hide it and shelter it like I don't want nobody to know. Right. But it's okay if somebody does know and I, I and I'm a, I'm aware of that now. That but I right. think you put so much pressure on yourself. And I probably Because do. you are so much better than you know you are. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. Like even acting like y'all she did not want to act and even sometimes she's like I don't want to do that role and then we sit back like we'll sit back and say she killing the game. Yeah, well, really? I, mean, <laughs> like, I, I told somebody, I said, she's a much better actor than I am, but don't tell nobody. Mama that. like that scene where the woman is behind the closed door tearing up everything. <laughs> yeah. She I, come out and it's like, it really be like that. Yes, yeah, my it's <laughs> Well, I'm, that's what I'm saying. Like when she go on set, but we and she's say doing it's nothing. But for her, it's a real. Mm-hmm. It's a real fear. It's a real yeah. fear of mine. I'm telling you, my, I'm sweating before I go out and do the concerts. It's like I am really nervous. I'm like, Lord, really? I need you because it's just I have not always been the person to be out in the f- forefront mm-hmm. and really being in front of people. I've learned to talk. Mm-hmm. To people and even talking to you guys, so Sydney. So people didn't know you was shy as you are. I was, yes, I, that, yeah. I'm shy too. Yeah. You ain't never been shy. Shy brother. <laughs> shy brother. <laughs> shy brother. <laughs> shy brother. <laughs> What's next? What's your biggest fear? Tiffany. Oh, put me on the spot. I'm My first man put on the spot. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh. What is my biggest fear? Cause I got a lot of them. <laughs> um, so, uh, letting my decisions be based on trauma, giving too much power to the past. That's good. Yeah, like that's a fear of mine. Like, so I have to really tune in and be aware of like, is this decision based on reality? Like what's in front of me? Or is this decision based on some like, scared stuff that happened before, like, you know, whatever the case may be. So I always try to really be aware 
of making sure that I'm operating from a healed place right. rather than from a scared, still in my trauma place. Break. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very good. See you. I have a lot of fears. But I have a lot of fears. But the one that keeps me up at night is like thinking something's gonna happen to me, and then somebody ends up raping my kid. Yeah. That, is, like, that, that is that's a true one of, of, of us. Oh, not that I don't have the system. Like my my support system is bomb as it relates to my kids. However, nobody's gonna treat your kids like you treat your kids. Nobody is gonna raise your kids like you raise your kids. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that is something right. that I think about daily, and I have to like Lord be like, girl, we talked about this yesterday. And you know that's, <laughs> that's but honestly, that's one prayer that my mom did say to me. Growing up, she said, one thing I always prayed that, Lord, allow me, <clears throat> my kids to be grown if you take me. Yeah. So they'll be able to take and fend for themselves. For themselves yep. So that, I mean, I understand that, and that's a true, true. Like, every time we would get on a plane, honest, honestly, y'all, when I walk on a plane, I do like this. They think I'm just stretching or something, but I'm rubbing my hands across the doors of threshold of the plane like lord watch over us cover us you know keep because it's like that's one thing how i feel even with y'all i'm like lord I, I mean i know one day we all gonna have to go and me and daddy talking about that a lot and that's another thing i hate talking about this i hate it we, I hate, talk, we I started know talking the inevitable. other day and she was like no daddy no i say it's inevitable you that one day you know i want it. <laughs> <laughs> i was doing it too <laughs> Play. <laughs> it's inevitable that we're gonna wake up one morning and you right. gonna be gone. One of us is not gonna be here. I thought you were gonna say but, wake up there. but I have a lot. To, <laughs> yeah. I still have a, I have a lot to do. Like I got a lot to do. I got yeah. a lot of people that I really, really owe. Not in the yeah. financial sense. Like I still got a lot to do on this earth. But like <laughs> even like Sonya, who, who's not here. Sonya is the teacher, so we're shooting early, so mm -hmm. she's you know teaching. Her mom, we didn't know what her mom's wishes were when she passed. And so with five kids, we were young and we were all like, what do we do? I'll take one. Yeah. I'll take one. I mean, but nobody can financially take care of, you know, all five. Right. So it's just like, what do you do? But that is, that's I just try to fit. corral my thoughts back. Like, I be yelling at myself, nope, nope. Any thought, because my thoughts just... I go down a rabbit hole. I start thinking about one thing, and it's be like, oh, "What about this? Or what about this?" I can tell you because I dealt with that. You can get so busy thinking about living, dying in, living you, in fear. Yes, you, that you forget about living, mm -hmm. and you start That's you good. start That's just good. thinking about that so much that you forget the joy of living. Because mm -hmm. I'm, I've always often thought about what if it, something happened to me? What if something happened to me? What is Mama gonna do? What y'all right. gonna do? But then you forget like. Man, we have right. a bomb life. Like, we have fun. Live. We yeah. yeah, that's right. Yeah. Like, pr be prepared. But, but I would just, to live your life. girl, you took the words. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, what's your fear, Tia? Uh, I think mine's is maybe progressing and growing. Mm -hmm. Um, and why? Failing. Why? Yeah, just being. Why am I about to cry? Because it's okay not it's to be okay. It's a natural emotion. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was about to say It's fine. Day. I ain't saying nothing. I'm, <laughs> hey, I ain't saying nothing. No, I want you to cry. I be wanting you to cry. You don't want to cry. Cry. Go on, okay, cry. Go on, tears. Yeah, so no, no. That is family is so whack. Waterworks act. That's because you don't do it often. I'm going to cry. Look at him. You say waterworks so, activate. So, oh. I think. I can't stand y'all. Yeah. No. No, I it's a serious because, moment. It's a serious moment. I think because, um, one, I don't have any kids, so I want to, this is, this is me talking about, uh, Fear of being, uh, what did I just say? Mm, Not uh, growing, but um, progressing. Progressing. Pro progressing, but um, the other one I just say. You said failing. Yes, yeah. I don't. I want. I want to have a foundation for my children when I do have some. Mm -hmm. So that's why I try now. And, and shout out to me for progressing in these last two years with mm. my work ethic. Big shout yeah. out. Big. Big, big because shout out. I'm working harder now because I know it's it's about to get that time. I don't have any kids, but I feel like it's about to come maybe soon. I hope don't nobody come. Pregnant. 
But it don't always but happen that way. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. But it doesn't have that you want that, that because to, pre- to, to be prepared. To be financially prepared in our ways because as my kids have grown, I'm growing with them. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. a lot of stuff I'm Exactly like, how we did with Like y'all. Madison, she didn't get what she should have got from me for like the first four years of her life. She was clothed, she was fed, she was taken care of, she was safe, but I didn't connect with her, I didn't engage with her and you know, financially, I just wasn't in the best position when right. I had kids. So I think that's, I think that's, that's good. I think that's, that's a lot of, yeah. there's nothing wrong with that. A mm-hmm. lot of people are like that. But yeah. I mean, but honestly, that's even with having y'all and y'all 18 months apart. When I got pregnant with you, David was still young. Mm-hmm. So when I got, find out I was pregnant, once I went and got checked. Which was your fault, by the way. I cried. I cried because... <laughs> I was thinking like I didn't give him a chance to be a baby and to have mm-hmm. the time to just really <laughs> for us to connect with him. Mm-hmm. And then we had another baby, then we had Tookie and Sonya, we had Portia. So it was like, I got another baby coming and I'm not ready. That's right. So that's why I I, so I, I can I, I can agree. Back in and I should give my time. <laughs> <laughs> Then we go. Then we go. Then we go on about life, and then yeah. So, but bam. but but it oh, yeah. it happened, <laughs> Tiffany. But it but the thing is, that was, that it, was it, it it it's sad to say, and it's hard to say. Then, but God was yet providing for us. He was helping us provide for so many. Even you know, we were stretching ourselves and taking care of other kids right. that weren't ours. But that's how the Lord will. He can make the way for you in whatever area even if it's like if you're not where, if you're not where you want to be for us fr- yeah. financially even with your home and all of that type of things right. so it's like i felt like growing up to another fear is like am i ever gonna own a house because my mother never owned a house right. she had land but she didn't have the means to build on the land yeah so, so she, I, I just want to appreciate y'all for uh, making us strive for more because uh that puts me on a whole nother level, especially um, when I seen Park Hill, I guess I seen the drive, a different drive in my father. Like, he, uh, she was, we was doing it. Like, he was doing everything on his own. And yeah. it, that made me like, oh, man, I got to. I got to come on with it. Like, yeah. uh, and and then that, he bought this house. No, yeah, I, f- I feel the same way because Dad used to always say, like, to us, I'm going to be a millionaire before I'm 35. So, like, that's, that plays in my mind. I'm about to be 31. What are the zeros at, Lord? I'm working for it. <laughs> well, it's, it was, so, it was I mean, the grind I, and I hustle. Mean, no, and I, and I, and I, that's, yes, the grind and hustle, but it's just, like, thank you for putting that. Like, I heard your um, dream. dream, but... Gold, gold. It's a gold. And, and I wrote it down. I wrote. That's, that's in my yearbook. Say that. That's 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 actually in my yearbook. By thirty-five, this is what I want to do. Yeah. I don't know how. Well, mine was <laughs> sing and travel. I wrote it in my in my yearbook. Yes, too. write the vision and, and tra- make it plain. Sing. Travel and sing. Yeah, it's, and it and it and it's true because actually, then that it gives it actually gives God something to work with, mm-hmm. because it's like when you have a goal. And you put it down there. It's like you believe in that it's going, and you hope, because hope and faith works together. And you're hoping that it's going to work itself out and come and through. And as you're hoping and working, working and you and your faith, you got to work. You got to work. Faith you got to put the work, the work in. Is that Even we when you a lot face of obstacles, when you, you keep fear, going. When you feel like, oh, this ain't going to be good. Enough. And it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Like, you still got to work. That's and it may not happen. Fear. Sometimes, yeah. some, yeah. And it's like yeah. in work, thing, it may not happen in that form. It may come in a different form, but it's like you just got to keep working at whatever that that yeah. is. And so don't let that fear yeah. kill you. That, but I, I was just saying how we used to say everybody's everybody don't have the same blueprint. Right. You right. know, it's it's different steps to get to. You can get to the same place, but you can just go to different steps. So right. everybody right. don't have You're the not same. Not as fine as me. <coughs> okay. You say fine. <laughs> <laughs> and, and just not be yeah, in fear. Like, like I know for. <laughs> I love this. I love this. For us, fear has kept us from a lot of things. It did. Even with savings. Oh, just even saving saving 
fifty dollars you know, a month. Uh, you know, and I know you look like fifty dollars a month to some people. That may be a lot. Right. But it may be it's ten dollars a month. Whatever you can, right. make sure you take care of you first, because right. the bill's gonna be there. That's right. And that's something that we let fear keep us from it. A guy came to us one time and said, look, we, I can show you how to be able to pay for your house in X amount of years. And we were just fearful. Like, no, we had, we didn't know anything about man, that. Man, I, I got all these kids. I can't put them back no $50. I need that $50. But <laughs> you know, we were going to McDonald's. We were going to this. We were doing that. We were just doing this. Yeah. They was cheap stops, but cheap stops cost money, too. Because yeah. yeah. we was at Brahms. We was at McDonald's. Yeah. We was at Poncho's. Why are they all eating stuff? Why we couldn't say I'm we just saying. But no. when we did movies, <laughs> we did dollar <laughs> movies. <laughs> we did dollar movies like then. Money. Because we had a lot of kids, we did dollar movies. And you still can do things with your your kids but, and be under under have a budget because you want them to experience some things but my point is is the money is getting spent and so what we didn't do i fear we calculate i'm sorry i'm sorry okay go ahead go ahead i'm sorry okay so david what's your what's your fears <laughs> No, but, uh, you always talk. No, for real. He was talking before you was walking. <laughs> Literally, he was talking before he was walking. Okay, go. Can somebody no, take me but, over there? But see, my, <laughs> one of my fears is being alone. And like that's oh, yeah, that's a big know, that's, deal yeah. for me. Um I can't stand being by myself. So no, no, not until this past really? year. Like I really I didn't know that. I cannot be by myself. Um, you like your father. We sent him to college, and this well, brother drive home work. every weekend. It's like, no, you supposed to stay away. That, that a long time hurt me. It was like, like I would be sitting in that dorm room. I think it and helped I'd you. Be like, oh, okay, uh, these room, these walls are getting really, really but tight. I'm, and at the end, why, at the day, it did. Because I mean, for me, I don't know. I guess I don't know. We've been together for so long. Like now that we grown, it's you want you weird. you about to cry? You gonna it's, cry? It's, I'm doing like Tim. You gonna cry? Water it's water weird. Water. It's really Your weird. Eyes it was. Yeah, it's been. getting there. Waterworks activate. Why don't y'all just feel y'all feelings? And just <laughs> they don't know how. They, don't they have, do not know how to feel it. Uh, <laughs> they don't know how to we, feel it. No. It's literally like I don't know. Like for real, becoming an adult for me was super hard because it was like. Bro, we always depending on each other. What, what, what y'all about to do? Mm -hmm. Like, where y'all about to go? Like, what y'all about to do? Right. And it was tough. Like, yeah. even losing when Portia left for them years, it was like, dang, bro, I gotta leave. You weren't like, supposed to leave us. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I gotta leave. I'm, I'm, Definitely I'm, not, I'm, not, right. I'm not ready you to leave. You was the snitch, yet. too. Yeah, you was snitching. Bro. I was snitching, but I can't cry. But it was good then. purpose. Like, it was good purpose. It was not it's, it's allergies. But that's okay. Because for some people, and me and Daddy had this conversation. I don't know if you remember you were telling me what refuels you and recharges you is being around people, being around right, your family. Right. Yeah. It's the total opposite for me. But it's, I want you to know. Look at you, Tina. Look at you. Let me explain. Let me explain. <laughs> When I'm around a bunch of people and when I'm engaging a lot, that do a lot to me. You know how I mean, Chantal? Like, I really have to go home and, like, decompress. Even after these family dinners, I have to go home and be like, like, I have to decompress. That's my way to recharge and refuel and get my mind back is isolating myself. No, that don't work for everybody. Me. For me, I'm building it. Because when we mo when y'all all moved out, we were supposed to downsize. And then we were like, when was that the plan? <laughs> so it was the way. <laughs> we were leaving city Why house. Why we, we, we didn't know about the place? We were, we were, we were supposed to downsize the house. We were leaving city here. We, we were supposed we were. to downsize the house, but Mama was like, "No." We went from like one little lot here to a big old this, and then like, why? Oh, then we can put the kids a yeah. playground out there. Yeah. We got somewhere where they yeah. can be yeah. in the and gate. I mean, I we can build she, the office in the back. Yeah, like I don't think she understands like how much I valued her leadership. Don't make me cry. I don't want to cry today. Oh, 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 yeah, that's true. Like, that's Yay. real. Like, well, thank you, brother. I've never heard you say that. <laughs> it's bad. But it. you, well, you said it yourself because, like, when you say when you stepped out of your place, it's just like, like, I need to be back where I can regulate, make sure. Because you, yeah, you did go through a point where I was like, I don't care about nobody. Feel, I don't care what they think. They yeah, did it. And, and that, that hurt me, like, yeah. because I was oh, opening God. my heart to, you know, like, Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I'm not crying. Stop crying, bro. What a word. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate 
appreciate this. I appreciate, I appreciate But I love that. to see I that didn't... you humble yourself and it's okay as a man because it makes me look at you stronger. Yeah. And even for our men that are watching, it does not mean that you're weak. It makes, it, as, as a woman to a man, it makes us see you that you have feelings, that, yeah. You, yeah. that you can be. I want you to be strong when it's time to be strong, but I want to see that you can be vulnerable too, like we can as women. Because a lot of times we as women have gotten so hard because our men hadn't stood up and yeah. let, uh, allowed us to see it and, and say, have some that. women can't be, when they when he showed that and be vulnerable, you, you can't come back and be dying. Well, nigga, you crying and you yeah, emotional. Yeah, you can't do that. Don't do that no, to your men. Do well, I'm a lion with men. butterfly wings. Yes, you are. <laughs> yes, you are, baby. <laughs> Sometimes to to figure me out because right. I can le I can be that for y'all. You know what I'm saying? I can be big right, sister. Yeah. I can be that, but. I was still trying to figure my own self out and figure stuff out. I get out. it. Yeah, I get it now. Yeah. But at the time, it was like, man, that nigga tripping, cuz. Like, <laughs> she just left. Right. She just gonna leave. She she just just gonna leave yeah, she just going to leave everybody. The family. Right. But that's how I felt because, right. I mean, she That's was, true. That's true. Because I, I had I felt opportunity that. to go to Southern, and yeah. it's like, I don't want to leave. I don't want to leave. Go, go like, that I don't, yeah. That's I too far from home. Eight hours to take him down there. Stayed all day. <laughs> Before we get home, good. He done came back home. <laughs> it just, it just didn't feel right for me. Like, um, me neither. It's just the protector in me is like, it's overbearing sometimes. And, and I can be too overprotective. You're over, but, you overbearing with but them. Yeah. I go all <laughs> in. And that's, I mean, that's just how I am. I, 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 don't, know, I don't know any different. I asked so, Mama the other day, I think am I too overprotective? Yes, you are. Yeah, but that's all that's all I know. Shoot, yeah. Zeta, that's all he taught me to be. He did. He but did. I read something um that I'm gonna tell I feel like I've been trying it with the kids a lot, but when they come to tell me stuff and when they start telling me stuff, I'm gonna ask them, do you need my advice? Do you need me to fix something or do you just need to vent? Mm -hmm. I think once you figure those things out, what a person need from you, because right. y'all two just automatically go into fix it, fix it mode. And I might just want, yeah, and protect yeah. it. I just want to vent. Like if I'm having a conversation with you about my marriage or whatever the case is, I want to be able to come to you and it's you not be like, who hurt my sister? Like I want to talk to you yeah. on some grown type stuff. You right. get what I'm saying? Like that's, that's, what I am going to implement in my life, and yeah, I would I mean, offer that you, up to you guys guess, as well. But see, for <laughs> me, the reason that is is because <laughs> I've been a no, protector talk, since I was, and I'm definitely not going to cry, since I was three years old. Right. That's what I've done. So you're not I, no. But why your eyes read? I've been a protector. I can remember my first time protecting my mom. Mm -hmm. Three years old. There ain't nobody else going to hit my mom ever. Right. Nobody ever did, not if I was there. And so that's all I've known is taking care of people. I was the next to the oldest, but I took care of everybody. I've right. taken care of people since I was, it, you, your phone ring, remember? <laughs> I've taken care of people right. forever, so that's all I know. So when you come to me and say, I've been hurt, where's the duct tape? We finna fix it. Right. And you know, one of y'all, I've been hurt. I've been, you know, yeah, but that's and see some stuff, Y'all don't tell me till later because y'all know my reaction. But that's a, like that, I just found out somebody else had been. Yeah, that, that, and that's what I told her. She you know, know I was mad. She know it's a it's a hip scout. Yeah, that's a flight. That's yeah, a flight. you know what I was time mad. Is it? Like, yeah, we'll be there in there at three. Don't even trip. Yeah. Well, well, I will say our relationship wasn't in the place that it is now. Absolutely not. To, to be able to say that and know but, that that y'all were there, yeah. our relationship wasn't there. Right. Well, but you know, know you know if you had called me and said. I, I, you know, if, you know if you had called me and said, hey, so-and-so, so-and-so. She know I'm coming. Hands. She know I was coming. It doesn't I'm matter. I don't think that she really doubted care. that y'all would have come it's to just you, Did you, did you not, you didn't think, you didn't want us to come? Or? No, it was, it was, it was a lot of factors, but I, we weren't close at that time. Yeah. Like, we were cordial at best at that, at that point in time. For all, the, to, to fill you in, for talking about it, I was in a relationship that was abusive. And I was living in New York, and I didn't tell them probably till like a month or so ago. But this yeah. was years ago that it had happened. And at that point, we weren't, we weren't as a family, like, as open. We hadn't yeah, unpacked like, a lot of the things that right. we had all went through. Yeah, so I, I wasn't at a point to right. call y'all. Like, if I needed anything, I was going to figure it out and fix it myself. That's because, that because you just wanted she to? She wanted to fix it herself. I was, because I, I thought that was the choice that I had. Right. Yeah. Right. That's, that's what I thought. I, that was, like, my options were... To stay in the situation or fix it myself, I didn't see y'all as another option. Yeah, we were. I thought we were because we had met him. Y'all met yeah, him. That's one. It's different. 
Yeah, I guess we because you, you we can now even like just this last year we are to a place to where we can. I would never call you like daddy. Like I'm going through this with my husband and like right. in great detail. Nobody, we none, none of y'all have ever done that. We yeah. had to find out through the grapevine. But I'm saying, <laughs> no, really. But my point <laughs> is, where we are now and right. where we're moving to, we have we have created that space. It took some time to work to get there, but. I feel what Tiffany sounds like. I'll just lick my own wounds yeah. and then I'll get out. I just want y'all to understand that I'm going to come and kick some chairs. <laughs> if something else happened like that again, we feel like we Oh, oh no, and that's what I'm talking about. That, fi- that, that <clears throat> living in my trauma, that was a whole different place. I ain't finna do that no more. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to allow myself to be treated in that way anymore. I value myself way more, and I know that my village is coming. Okay. Like, point blank, period. Well, I know that now. I could have been on bad somebody. terms and still if something happened like <laughs> well, somebody that. Somebody should have. I mean, we don't, time, I mean, cause, cause, but this even, that, I mean, even with our, you know, but <laughs> I don't also have to look at there are I mean, other I know things that play a part. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yes, and I get that. Because I went through that with like my siblings, with my sisters. And I saw that. Yeah. But I don't care. Like you said, we could have had an argument yesterday. But if you call me today and say that happened. Right. No, my family was come. We coming through. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I don't play when it comes uh, to my. And then I just, you know, I said, forgive me, Lord. I'm, my salvation may probably get laid down. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want the Lord to increase oh, my strength. No, I, I gotta tell y'all. But I'm just the truth. Mother, mama saying this, y'all. Me and Shatai used to be going through some stuff at the beginning of our relationship. I'm gonna tell y'all, my mama. <laughs> my mama charged her time up. She's a ride or die for her baby. She gonna ride for me, boy. That's. What, I'm gonna tell y'all. I used to. I went to jail. Look, I went to jail. <laughs> which time? Which time? Yeah, which time? <laughs> I went to jail. Sometimes messing with Chantal. So I called my daddy. Chantal was like, they done, she done called the police. Uh-uh. I'm, I'm gonna just leave. So listening to my daddy. He ain't never. Been I'm to just jail. trying to do the he right ain't never thing. Been to jail. Don't I listen to him. You don't listen to the people that ain't he never did. been to jail. I learned. <laughs> He's just trying to tell you the right thing. He's telling you not to go. Not to, he not to, to run he from the scene. Said, Bro, if you go not back, they going to take you to jail. I said, me and my dad, I just got to listen to my dad. Don't, don't dad listen said, to him. Wait, he said, you don't told him to go to back? To go well, because I didn't want them looking for him. Because mm-hmm. he didn't he, yeah. he didn't really want anything to do. I didn't want him messing with my son. <laughs> so I'm thinking, do the right thing. Go back and explain. So what made you say for him to go back? Because they were looking for him. They said they was they looking, looking for him. They didn't put out no warning. I didn't I know that. I ain't yeah. never been to jail. So I ain't no criminal. So you going to sit go back, sit down, and invite them in for tea. Yeah. <laughs> and then they going to take you to jail. I'm I'm okay. pull, I'll pull up in that car. Wait, what's something looking like? <laughs> like I'll pull up in that car. They didn't ask me no questions. <laughs> I was like, yeah, so y'all, so let me tell you, my side, they were sitting, would you turn around for me, please, sir? What? You want me to tell you, you want me to tell you from behind? Or, you, from backwards? You, you ain't gonna be able to hear me clearly if I turn around. You want me to put my hands behind he my back for what? Said, he take taking them to jail, I said, they what? He said, so what? For what? So what? Now, had I known that. I was that, crying and upset. Oh, had I known yes. that. I would have hit him out. Big Bun Beater came but up in there. My son still went to they have to. She finna fight their whole family. She telling grandma, the grandma. I she cut the grandma you, out. You, you, all you everybody. Like outside. she bad. <laughs> and daddy on the phone. Leave grandma, house, grandma would have stomped the mud hole in you. <laughs> you grandma would have stomped the mud hole in you. <laughs> 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 you crazy. I told everybody, y'all come outside. Grandma, what if you went out there and grandma beat you up? Man, you crazy. Just hate you all up on the <laughs> Me and Shantai was talking, talking about it and laughing about the other day. We she did on our, on our trip. You came in there trying to fight there. I did. On our trip. Come, on, come outside. <laughs> <laughs> How about that? But we're on a good point. It's like, I mean, and, and even in, to finish that up with David was saying about Chantal, I told her, you know, because it was my son, my only son, he had he didn't have a record. And I was like, we could have figured something out. He do that. No, he's not. <laughs> so, but the thing is, but there. it's all it's all fixed. It's all fixed. But nah. she understands now How that she has a son. She wow. understands now differently than now that she has a son. So, but even her now, like I tell all my kids, and you know, even with their spouses or whatever, I'm for what's right. Right. And I'm you not, cannot get Chantal from over here. Sometimes he yeah, she her my like, baby. That's you my need daughter. To come home. I'm over here she with act, your parents. She <laughs> act more like me than any of my kids. Oh, <laughs> she do. Yes. Who 
Y yes, she is. You wouldn't believe how much them two are alike. Sometimes. When you when you say you go out and look for someone like your mother, I really, really, really. You read, I was gonna say you, you read right. I'm okay, so mama. we're gonna wrap this episode yeah, up. We yeah, do. we do. I have one last question though for everybody. Um, this is about holding grudges. Are you a person that holds grudges? If so, why? Why? I'm gonna start with me. I used to be a grudge holder. Me too. I used to be a really good. You like, still have to work hard on it. Yeah, I still do. It's still you, a work. You still have to work hard on it. I do. I be battling with <laughs> Look, myself. But now I'm like, talking. life is life is too short to be holding grudges. We One, two, we, you we can literally go to a person and say, hey, I feel this way because da 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 da. Or you feel, and y'all get an understanding. And y'all can be Bye. eating, sitting down, true. eating. It's that's like yeah. all of that that's time. Because <clears> then you hold a grudge and you do that. Now you're sitting there thinking of scenarios in your head. You're thinking of arguments that ain't even happened yet. Right. So I am. Leaning more towards not holding grudges, however, I still be having a sprinkle of grudgy, <laughs> grudgy on me. <laughs> but my goal is to not be a grudge holder. Tiffany, okay. uh, I be wanting to hold grudges so bad, I want to stay mad for a long time. But I, I be like, you know, I, I extend grace. I'm like, there's a whole bunch of other stuff that I'm not even aware of that they may be going through. That oh, they may, yeah, yeah, yeah like you don't that. know what people are thinking in their mind and their insecurities and their shortcomings. And where they are. They yeah, and so yeah. you're like, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna let that go because I can live in peace. Yeah. I can just sit and chill and live in peace. So I, I be wanting to be mad. The thug part of me be wanting to stay mad. Funky yeah, Funky Town want to be want to be mad, <laughs> but I let it go because yeah. I can be free. Right. For good. for me, I'm not a grudge holder at all. I feel like I I love to or give the opportunity. You have to do a whole lot to me for me to just cut you off. Right. I'm just the type of person that I feel like what you said is to extend grace because I always want grace to be extended to me, mm -hmm. and that really just it just saying that brings tears to my eyes because I feel like again that there is shorter time than more time. For us. Mama ain't never had no argument with nobody. I have had, me. I've had arguments, but we it's don't. not. But Daddy, we don't have to go into every time. But every time, we have to take us for thirty more minutes. Right. We don't, I, mean, but I just, I can even really, with I my can family, she do not hold grudges. Even with my family members, I just don't, and it's just like that's something. Even with y'all growing up with arguments, I just don't. I just, I don't like it, yeah. and I'm not confrontational. But it's like I will if I have to, but I'll say it and I'm done with it. I'm, right. I'm really like, let's talk. I'm saying it and I'm done. Mama yeah. be like, all right. Now me, oh, <laughs> I'm a hybrid of, I'm a hybrid of all of above. I'm a lion with butterfly wings. I can hold the grudge. I can hold you. So I, I'm just like, like I say, I'm a lion with butterfly wings. I can show compassion. I can show grace, but I can also pull out a sword and I can cut your throat. And watch you bleed, and then I will help sew you up, and that's why. I wouldn't say that you a grudge holder though. Dave. I'm not a grudge holder, but but when he I, can walk around. Oh yeah, he, oh, he can walk around mad. We don't see him before. He can before. walk around mad for some days. I'm not a grudge. I know. Because well, Daddy will for sure. Used to be. If I, I, there's something not, going man. on, he's like lurking. Like now, he don't like just pry or just he just be like he like lurks to try to. Either he be petty or he like lurks to like try to see what's going oh, on. Oh, he can because a lot of times I don't. A lot of times I don't know what's happening. Yeah. Like, Sometimes I'm the last. Like, be so loud. you mean to tell me that my petty level high? Mm -hmm. Who? Yeah. Like, what's <laughs> you mean to tell me this was going on and I didn't yeah. know? But I don't know if I hold grudges. I, I, in the, in the I, beginning of our marriage, he did. I mean, he like could walk around now. mad for like two or three days. Turn his back and don't say nothing. I Mama just, said one time. That, that stuff kills me. Mama oh, said one time, hey, babe, I want to talk. I said, go ahead and talk. <laughs> so oh, that's okay, where I get that from. No, yeah. but I for say he be getting on me like he don't do the same things that he I do. He used to do. He used to do. No. What you she? need to be, don't be like him. Be better than him. <laughs> do, do like what? Hold, not hold grudges, but be petty like you do. I do. I could be. Now I didn't say we didn't ask a petty question. We, I'm but a, you petty grudgy. I invented petty grudgy. <laughs> issue. That's our new word. Grudgy. Yeah. Grudgy. Yeah. Grudgy. Grudgy. Yeah. Petty. Whatever. Go ahead, man. Lying with butterfly wings. We gotta do that. I gotta make a picture of that. She is a grudge holder. No, I'm not. I'm a, well, <clears throat> you a so petty holder? I'm a grudge holder for about two days, and then after that. Oh, you have a little you know, two days. Yeah, yeah. I have a, 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 a stack. <laughs> Do you yes. have to think it through? or? Yeah, like I had to just get over it, and then I'll be like, okay, build a bridge, get over it, bro. It's, it's all right. Like, whatever. And then I'm good. Oh, so okay. Okay. it's just what it is. Ah, uh, me? 
Capricorn. I can hold a grudge for about five. Yeah. Not yes. Days. Years. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like, I done stopped. No, here, as of recent, bro, I done stopped it. Like, I, I ain't got time for that. That's, the, that's too much energy to put on it somebody's head. Energy. Like, right. you like, you literally got to <laughs> think of something every time they come around for you not to say to them. <laughs> <laughs> but can I, give you, can I give you a note right there? Yes, You're no. actually giving them power over you. Really? When yeah. you allow somebody to come in a room and, and your attitude or you stay in that frame, mm-hmm. you're giving them power over you. Well, that's They're, why I was trying to show them, like, you ain't really got no power over me because I can whoop you. If but I but you, yeah. at that time, you're not whooping them. Because Mentally, they're whooping you. You're, exactly. See? And that's what I see. Down. See, that's what, that's, that's what I had to understand and learn. But you know what? Now, I don't even give it no energy. I'll be like, all right, how you doing? God bless you, brother. And I just say, at this age... We have less time than we have more, so that's why I'm extending. How much grace you need today? How much grace you need? You need grace? Okay, good. I, we have less time than we have more. We don't have time to be petty. Right. We'll be 55 this year. I know that we're not going to have another 55 years. Yeah, so right. yeah, the, the time that we have, I want to spend it enjoying it. And just remember, don't let your fears overtake you. Right. Thank y'all so much. Like and subscribe. Share, Thumbs up, share, share, comment, and Tiffany, it's in your hands. Don't let a day go by without telling your family you love them. I, I love, love you guys. I love you. And we love you. Bye. Bye.